we're talking about 290 kilometer an hour sustained wind speeds right now, right before landfall. And all this time, this hurricane has been getting its energy from this unusually warm seawater. We're talking about 30 degrees Celsius in that region right now. A hurricane needs 27 degrees Celsius to uh, grow and to intensify Anything above that is extra fuel to the system. So you can only imagine what this 30 degrees Celsius is doing uh, for this hurricane. Do you think we're going to see more of these kind of storms affecting these areas in years to come? Unfortunately, my answer to that will be yes. Uh, and that has to do with the fact that these seawaters are already so warm and they're projected to only uh, increase in temperature in the coming years because of climate change. And the other factor is that uh, what we like to call hurricanes are getting wetter, meaning that they are absorbing more moisture into their system and that turns into rainfall. So these torrential rainfall events are only projected to, uh, yeah, to occur more often in the future under climate change.